Ironized Yeast presents... Lights out, everybody. It is later than you think. This is Arch Obler bringing you another in our series of stories of the unusual. And once again, we caution you. These lights out stories are definitely not for the timid soul. So we tell you calmly and very sincerely, if you frighten easily, turn off your radio now. But if you're fascinated by the mysterious, the fantastic, the unearthly, then anticipate chills in our story of poltergeist. Open sleigh. Hey, <laughs> that was swell. Now let's go to town. St. Louis woman with her diamond ring kicking that man oh, around. No. no, stop that, Kay. What's the matter? Am I scaring the horse? Oh, it seems like a sacrilege singing a song like that out here. This beautiful, clean snow and blue sky. Well, what's wrong with a hot song to keep us warm? If you think the St. Louis blues is going to dirty up the snow, you ought to hear Frankie and Johnny the way I sing it. Oh, stop it, Kay. You're not funny at all. Why can't you enjoy the fresh air without that cabaret sort of thing? Oh, just an old-fashioned gal, eh, Florence? How about you, Edna? Don't you like my songs either? You haven't said anything for the last five minutes. Well, I, I haven't been listening to you to tell the truth. I love to watch the snow sort of... Flow along under the sleigh. When you say that, gal, smile. Gosh, did you ever see more snow in your life? The man at the hotel said it had been snowing on and off up here for two weeks. I think coming out here to the country is the best thing we three have done since we started rooming together. Hiking in the snow is terribly healthy. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. The healthier I get, the worse I feel. <laughs> Crazy idiot. She does say the funniest things, doesn't she? I always say that Kay ought to... Ooh. Hallelujah, we're here. Is this as far as we go, driver? That's right, miss. Can't go no further down this road account of the drift. Oh, my goodness. The drifts are too deep for a horse. How can we walk through them? I second the motion. Well, you young ladies don't have to worry none so long as you keep going down the valley over there. Snow ain't piled up that way all the way to Ma Jenkins. Oh, well, that's marvelous. Come on, girls. Let's get started. So long. Take care of yourselves, girls. Come on, Ed. Goodbye, Miss Well, Listen to the snow talking at us. It's very dry snow. Our feet rub particles of it together, and the friction makes a sound. It's kind of scary, yeah. isn't it? Why? Well, I don't know. It's just yeah. as if the snow was sort of trying to talk to yeah. us. I mean, as if it was angry at our trespassing. Hey, don't tell me we're trespassing. I don't want any country squire taking any pot shots at my uh, constitutional amendment with rock salt. No, thank you. Oh, don't talk nonsense, Kay. We're not trespassing. Why, this pass through the valley here over to Mrs. Jenkins' house is the favorite hike of everyone who comes up this way during the winter. What's Mrs. Jenkins got anyway that makes people walk their feet off? <laughs> Wait till you taste her cooking. Eat. Oh, boy, let's go. It's awfully quiet out here, isn't it? Oh, that's the glory of it. I've had the roar of the subway in my ears so long. Okay, don't walk so fast. Come on, look what I found. Oh, come on, Edna. Oh, please, let me take your arm. I'm getting out of breath. But well, take it easy. There's no hurry. <sighs> well, what is it, Kay? Look, through the circle of trees here. Look what I discovered. Well, isn't that interesting? It's a sort of a natural amphitheater. Sure. Say, who was this guy, Daniel Boone? Well, What's an amphitheater? Well, that, that means an oval circling place with rising tiers of seats. It's, you know, like that place we went to for the horse show. Oh. Back in the times of the Greeks, they had outdoor theaters. Well, listen to the professor. They made use of places just like this where the ground sloped up and made a sort of a natural arena or stage below. Theater. That's an idea. Sit down, gals, and I'll give you a special performance of the K Follies. Oh, it's awful snowy here, isn't it? I'll trample it down with my spring dance. Welcome, sweet. Isn't <laughs> she a nut dancing in the snow? 
If I had that girl's energy. She's really grateful, isn't she? I'll bet if she went on the stage. Oh, Kay. Kay. Kay, did you hurt yourself? Oh, did I land on my dignity. Here, give me a hand. Here, I'll help you. There you are. Oh, did I take a flop. Did you hurt yourself badly? I'll live. What in the world did I trip over? Oh, no wonder. Look at that rock under the snow. No wonder I did a nosedive. Oh, my gee. goodness. There are rocks like that all over. Oh. A person could break their neck if they... Girls, what's the matter? What is it? Kay, the rock you tripped over. It... It's not a rock. What are you talking about? Of course it's a rock. Well, yes, but it's something... Something more than that. It's a tombstone. What? Tombstone? Oh, no, it, it can't be. Look for yourself. It says... Here lies buried the remains of one who, restless in life... Stop! Don't read anymore. Stop! And and all these other stones laying flat on the ground. They're tombstones, too? Yes. Whew! What a place to pick to dance. Oh, What's the matter, Edna? What did you scream for? Kay, you, you danced on the grave. What? You danced on the grave. I saw you. I saw you do it. You danced on the grave. Okay. Edna, stop it. Stop it. Oh, what's come into her? Edna, stop acting Edna, like that. Edna, stop for heaven's sake. Control yourself. Okay. Okay, I'm so sorry for you. You danced on a grave. For heaven's sake, stop talking like that. Sure, I danced on a grave. Well, yes, of course you did. It was perfectly accidental. And what if it was? What of The poltergeist. The what? Edna Hanson, what are you talking about? What's that word you just used? Poltergeist. Okay, what have you done? You superstitious little fool. If you don't stop talking that way, I'm going to slap your face. What's the matter with you? I didn't do anything. You walked on the grave. You danced on the grave. Oh, Edna, what? be sensible. We all walked on graves, but it was purely accidental. Yeah. We had no intention of desecrating them. It doesn't matter, I tell you. It doesn't matter. The polar guy, he'll come. I know he will. Oh, what the you? She's crazy. Edna, what are you talking about? What's the poltergeist? What are you so frightened about? My father, he told me. If you walk on a grave, if you dance on a grave, the poltergeist. Poltergeist what? What is a poltergeist? An evil spirit. It comes out of the grave. It kills. It destroys. It'll kill us. It'll kill us all. Stop it. It's rough and stop oh, it. please. Yeah. Lay off that way. Yeah, no. But it won't get me. I'll run Edna, away. come back here. She's gone insane. I'll get her. Edna. Kate, catch her. Edna. Edna, don't run away. Nothing will hurt you. Nothing. Oh, Edna, look out. Okay. Okay, what happened? That stone. It hit Edna. Edna. Edna, open your eyes. Blood. Blood all over her face. Kay, who threw that stone? Who threw it? I don't know. It came from the graveyard. Take it easy. Oh, Doctor, she won't die. <laughs> Tell me she won't die. No, no, of course not. And you're sure that her skull isn't fractured? Oh, absolutely not. Maybe a little concussion, that's all. Well, it's almost five. Our train. Can we get someone to help us carry her down to the station so we can get her on board? Board? I'm telling you that little friend of yours shouldn't be moved out of bed for a week. If you do... Well, it might be just too bad. Oh, Flo, what do we do? Uh, you go home, Kay. I'll stay with her. Oh, no, you won't. I'm not leaving you here alone in this godforsaken place. If you stay, I stay too. Kay, please be sensible. Why should we all lose our jobs when you... If you'll go... excuse me, you ladies, I've got to be on my way. Oh, yes, of course, Doctor. Is there anything more you can do for Edna, Doctor? Any medicine or something? No, but I've done all I can do. She's sleeping comfortable now. Uh... Miss? Yes, Doctor? The constable's sick, too, you know, and he's sort of dependent on me to keep things straight. Now, uh, just how did you say that little friend of yours got hurt? Well, it was just the way we explained, Doctor. That rock came flying and... Yes, yes, I know, but who threw the rock? We... we don't know. What? That's true, Doctor. We don't know. But somebody threw it. You can't change facts. Somebody threw the rock that cracked her head. For heaven's sakes, old man, you don't think we did it? No, I miss, did. I didn't. I'm excited. Doctor, you've got to believe us. It happened just the way we said. All at once, that rock came flying through the air from the direction of the graveyard. It struck Edna, and, 
And we just didn't see who threw it. All right, if that's your story. Well, you better stay in your rooms here. I mean, you better not be leaving until the constable's on his feet and has a chance to talk with you. I'll be back in a few hours and see how the girl is. He doesn't believe us. What difference does it make? We know what we saw. But what did we see? She was running. She she fell. Okay. Well, let's not fool ourselves. There was no one there to throw that rock. There must have been. But there wasn't. Stop saying that. Aren't you brave enough to face facts? There wasn't any place for anyone to hide. I saw that stone. It seemed to come down out of the air. So slowly. Florence, if you don't stop talking like that... I remember what... What Edna said? It throws things. Stop looking at me like that. You're giving me the jitters. She said the poltergeist throws things. The spirit of evil. Florence, Rob, have you gone crazy too? Why should we laugh at things like that? What right have we got to laugh? How do we know there aren't powers we can't see or understand? Powers of evil that revenge and insult just like an evil man... Kay, how do we know? What are you talking like that for? What are you trying to scare me for? You, you're you supposed to be the most intelligent one of us all. You with your college degrees. Sure, sure, I danced on the grave. But the dead are dead and they can't revenge a thing. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid of anything. I tell you, it's not... What? You said that. Come on. Edna, we're coming to you. Don't be afraid. We're coming. Open the door, Florence. It's not locked. Duck, it won't Here, let me. Edna, what is it? a decent place, and I don't want you... <gasps> oh. The girl on the bed. Her head. It's crushed flat in by a rock. God in heaven. It's not a rock. It's a tombstone. I I wish I could cry, but I haven't got any more tears. Oh, Edna. Edna. Florence, darling, please. You'll kill yourself if you keep on like that. Oh, this horrible night would only end. It was my fault. Mine. I was the one who got her out here. She didn't want to go. She hates the country. But I made her come. I made her. No. No, you're not the one to blame. I am. I danced on the grave. But she was so good. So sweet. Oh, why is it up to me, Edna? Why? You're right. It wasn't right for it to be her, was it? Oh, no. I did it, not her. I did it. I danced on the grave. I danced on the grave. You can't deny what you see with your own eyes. But I tell you, Doc, nobody could have carried that tombstone up the steps without me seeing him, could they? But there it is, ain't it? Yeah. There it is. Either somebody's playing a terrible joke, or... or... You don't have to say it, Doc. I know. That's just the trouble. You don't know, and I don't know, and nobody knows. Yeah. And... And that tombstone... Well, what about the tombstone? I... I ain't quite sure, but... That's a tombstone out of the old burying grounds up at the bend. You're crazy. No, I ain't either. Well, that place is a good three miles from here. Yeah. 
I know. Who could have carted a heavy stone like that for three miles? Yeah. Who? Stop looking like that, you flap-eared old fool. Human hands carried that stone in here and killed that girl? Sure. Yeah, the constable will find out who did it the minute he's on his feet again. You wait and see. No, he won't, Doc. You're smarter than me and all that, but oh, this time you're wrong. There ain't nobody that takes in breath and leaves out breath like you and me. Or the constable's going to find out who killed that girl. You know that, Doc. Oh, stop talking. I wish the constable was here and this night was over. It's been a terrible night. Terrible clock. Ticking. Ticking. Yeah, I know. I've been sitting here listening to it. I can't stand it anymore. I'll stop it. Why bother with it? Come on to bed, Kay. Please. There's no use sitting there. It won't help her. Yeah. Nothing can help her. But maybe I can help you. Me? It was my fault. Mine. I was the reason it happened. It killed her and it'll kill you and me too unless I stop. No, don't say that. It's true. But why should you be hurt? I'm to blame, not you. Listen, Flo. I'll go out there. There? Out there to the graveyard. What? I'll talk to her. Can I'll, you? I'll tell her I didn't mean to do it. No. But I didn't know where I was dancing. Please. Maybe... Somehow it'll hear, listen to me, and then it won't hurt oh, you. No, no, I won't let you go out there. It'll kill but you. But Florence... It'll kill you, too. Florence... No, no, I'll hold you. You can't go. You can't. All right. Come on to bed, Kay, please. In the morning, in the morning, things will be different. But it won't... Nothing will hurt us. And then they're right outside the door. They won't let anything get at us. Oh, please, Kay, please, come to bed. Yeah. Well... We'll pray. Pray? I... I don't exactly know how. Just say anything. Anything. Like this. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. If I should die before I wake, I pray the Lord my soul to take. Now you. If I should die before I wake, I... Pray the Lord, my soul, to take. Kay? Kay, are you asleep? I can't sleep anymore. Kay, tomorrow, I mean, when it gets light and everything, do you think people will believe us? Do you think so, Kay? I'm not quite sure what happened. I always used to be so sure about things. And now I... Kay? Kay, where are you? Kay, where... The window. She went out the window. She's gone out there. To the graveyard. To talk to it. Okay, why did you go? Why did you go? I'll go out there, too. Well, she'll be so frightened out there alone. I'll go, too. I'll go, too. Oh, so cold. Hands. No, so sharp. Cutting my legs. Oh, why did you go out there, Kay? Why did you... I've got to find you. The wind. Oh, why doesn't the wind stop? Blow, blow, thou winter wind. Thou art not so unkind as... <laughs> I've got to find you, kid. I've got to find you. It's snowing. I love snow. Edna didn't like snow. Where are you, Kitty? Where are you? I lost my way. I lost the road. 
Where are you, Kitty? Kitty, where are I heard you, Kay. I heard you. I'm coming to you, Kay. We'll talk to it. We'll talk to it together. We'll say that we didn't mean any harm, won't we, Kay? Won't we? Poor Edna. We can't help her, Kay. We can't help Edna. But I'm coming to help you, Kay. I'm coming. I'm coming. Yes, I hear you. I hear you. I'm coming, darling. I'm coming to help. I'm coming to help you. I'm coming. I'm coming. I hear you. I hear you calling my name. I hear you. Yes. Yes, I hear you. I hear you. Where are you? Where are you? No! This way, Hooper. They must have come this way. Uh, climbing out the window like that in the middle of the night. They must have gone crazy, the both of them. Well, let's not worry about that now. We've got to find them. Here, give me that lantern. What is it, Doc? What have you found? A shoe. One of the girl's shoes. My gosh, stuck in the snow. We're going the right way. Come on, move fast. We've got to get to them. Doc, look at this. What is it? Over there. Ain't these footprints? Yes. Yes. Yes, that's right. Footprints. Hello, up ahead. Hello. Doc, we're... We're getting pretty close to the old burying grounds. Well? Maybe... Oh, look here, Doc. Let's not be fools. Let's wait till morning. What? Let those frightened girls freeze to death? Get along. But, Doc, I... You I, come I, with me or the whole town will know what a yellow-livered no-good you are. All right. All right. You don't have to get so sore, Doc. Hello? Hello? Anybody up there? Hello? Doc. Doc, look. What? There they are. Up ahead. Glory be, they're alive. The both of them. Come on. Doc. Doc. Look at them. That's the burying ground up there. And they're dancing. Dancing on the graves. What? They must be out of their heads. Come on. We've got to stop. Doc. Doc, wait for me. Oh, Doc, it's... It's Doc again. Where are they, Doc? Where are the girls? Have they... Have they stopped dancing? Yes. Huh? They've stopped dancing. Did... Did they ever dance? What are you talking about, Doc? We saw them. We saw them dancing in this place with our own eyes. Did we? The moonlight. Here it comes again. See with your eyes again. <gasps> oh, no. Both of the girls froze stiff to the ground. Each with her head crushed by a tombstone. Would you mind telling us, me, whether there actually are such things as poltergeists? All I can tell you is this. There are authenticated records in existence that, in the city of London on the 27th day of April, 1872, from four in the afternoon on a Thursday until half past eleven at night, 
a certain room in a certain house was deluged by stones thrown from no apparent source. The London police surrounded the house, but they found no trace of whoever or whatever was throwing those stones with a murderous violence. I, uh, I see. So much for poltergeist. But what about next week? Well, anything can happen, but uh, specifically next week, Mangara. A strange title and a strange story. The power of suggestion. The dictators have shown us to what evil purposes that power can be used. Well, next week, a man who... uh, (laughs) But that, as usual, is next week. Yes. Lights Out, written and directed by Arch Obler, will come to you again next Tuesday at the same time. Be sure to listen for the amazing story of Mungara. 